welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rath's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November in addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses the long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. I just want to be the best in basketball, so I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels, we did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's, it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size, being 6'3", 6'4", to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strip. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed from business, nursing and science, to the arts, all with a 99% career success rate. You belong here. 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 I belong here.
has always been here. Um, you know, and they're getting better. Um, you know, I'm watching, you know, uh, Summit City Sports, man, they're doing an awesome job. And, I mean, that's a plug. Them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job. And I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting, and I'm seeing the talent. And it is just truly outstanding. And, I mean, you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne, Indiana, the talent that's coming up now and the talent that, you know, is, 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 is just here, man. It's just is really, it's really cool. In four years, this, this could be you. you. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed, from business, nursing and science, to the arts. You belong here! Our football team have won a sectional title in 32 years. There's no team better than us, and we just do our job. You know, nobody really want to lose no more. All you want is greatness. You want me one, two, three. This is a game that's been on my calendar all year. We don't need you. Man, this is a plan. We a whole different Northside team. Area sports looked a lot different back in 1952 when Jim Kelly opened his first dealership in Fort Wayne. 70 years later, that original dealership has grown into the Kelly Automotive Group with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall and Kelly Chevrolet on Lima Road. Fort Wayne continues to support our local teams and businesses. Thank you for 70 years. We could have never done it without you. Visit us today at drivekelly.com. And good evening, everybody, and welcome to tonight's broadcast of high school basketball on SummitCitySports.com. I'm Thad Goff bringing you the broadcast tonight. we got Carson Watkins running the camera today. And again, tonight's game is between the Knights of Bishop Lures and the Cadets of Concordia. And we'll tell you a little bit more about these teams in just a moment. we got the starting lineups first. Now, the starting lineup for your Concordia Cadets. A senior from Jefferson, number 11, Michaela Richardson. A freshman from St. Peter's, number 12, Olivia Bollinger. A sophomore from Emmanuel St. Michael, number 20, Lauren Goodman. Sophomore from Holy Cross, number 21, Sella Kaiser. And a senior from Central Christian, number 24, Annika Nelson. The cadets are coached by Nicole Bollinger. 
Our officials for tonight's game, Joseph Lordy, Jared Fry, and Dylan Cumberland, and we thank them for their service. Well, you just got the starting lineup for both the Knights of Bishop Lures and the Cadets of Concordia. Both these teams coming in with a combined record of nine wins and 17, excuse me, 21 losses. Concordia comes in at 5-12 and 12 on the season. They're trying to snap a three-game losing streak. Lures comes in 4-9 and nine on the season, and they're trying to snap a five-game losing streak. But for each of these teams, it is their first game since the Christmas break. And looking to get back to it. By the way, freshman Olivia Bollinger, you just heard her name announced in the starting lineup. She's the leading scorer for Concordia. She is the daughter of head coach Nicole Bollinger. Nicole's daughter, Kaylin, also plays at Concordia, but she is injured and, if I'm not mistaken, out for the season. Almost saved there down on the sideline by Michaela Richardson. But it's going to go to Lures for the first possession. That's Kendall Tyree to inbound, and Tyree is a transfer from Northside High School. She goes almost clear across the city of Fort Wayne to play at Lures. Lures even further south than Southside. A little behind the back dribble by Tyree. She goes back outside to Reese Roadhamel. Check that, that's Roadhamel who sets the screen, but a carry is called. That's on Maggie Perrin. Maggie Perrin and Grace Perrin are sisters. Grace is a freshman. Maggie is a sophomore. But Concordia takes over on the turnover. This is Lauren Goodman, a sophomore, one of the top scorers on this Concordia team. She's a sophomore getting starting time. Olivia Bollinger is a freshman getting starting time. Grand total of one freshman and two sophomores on this Concordia team. A little shot fake there by Richardson. Jumper won't fall. Fighting for it is Bollinger. Put back won't go. That was Sella Kaiser. And it's a jump ball. Possession arrow is going to stay with Concordia. And there to inbound is Olivia Bollinger. It's a long inbound to Richardson. Of course, we are here at the new and improved cage. I should say the new and improved Eugene Parker Court here inside the cage. Annika Nelson with the early three ball. The Huntington commit knocks down the triple to start things out. Now, Annika Nelson, not only a good basketball player, she's a good student. She's averaging over 10 points per game on the court this year. And a couple of years ago, leading up to an Always 100 showcase that she was a part of, Happened to find out that she had a GPA over 4.0. I think it was close to 4.3 if I'm not mistaken. Not sure what her GPA is nowadays. I imagine that she's still doing pretty well in the classroom. Former head coach Dave Miller had plenty of good things to say about her. That's a miss on the jumper by Bollinger. Dave Miller coached Nelson for two years before his retirement. That pass sails out of bounds. Nicole Bollinger, the current head coach, was an assistant coach under Dave Miller. I believe she actually coached the JV team. Here's Michaela Richardson bringing the ball across the timeline for Concordia. Nelson's three remains the only points of the game so far, and she'll get another touch here. Was thinking about a three ball. Instead drives. She's going to be called for traveling. It's going the other way. Lures takes over, down 3 nothing. Lures is coached by Mark Pixley. He's a longtime head coach coming off a 12-11 season. Driving to the paint is Annika Davis. Left-handed shot. It's good. And Lures is on the board. The junior guard, Davis, gets it to go. Richardson right back down the floor, but a little bit long off the glass. Addie Shank trying to feed it off, and they called her for traveling. Well, maybe she shuffled the foot. That's the... Uh, the only thing I can think of that would have warranted a traveling call, but the official was right there. He was in plenty good position to make the call, so he probably saw it better than I did. This is Lauren Goodman, the sophomore, getting around the screen from Nelson. Bollinger, the step back, missed it. Davis, the lob inside to Shank. Had it knocked away, I think Nelson got a hand on that one. 
She and perhaps Sella Kaiser. That's Bollinger with the recovery out of bounds. That's off Concordia. Lures takes over. I think it went off the hands of Goodman before it went out of bounds. We've got a lot of basketball for you both today and tomorrow here on Summit City Sports. Some of the other games going on tonight are Northrop versus Snyder. Northside also taken on Wayne. That's a doubleheader. That's a catch and shoot three from the corner. It's good, and it's Annika Davis. Annika Davis with the first five lures points, and they're up by two. Their first lead of the game as Mark Pixley sends a sub to the scorer's table. Kaiser able to find Nelson. Nelson avoids the turnover. Little pull-up J, too strong. All fighting after it was Kaiser, and Kaiser hits the floater, and we're tied. Sella Kaiser keeping it alive for Concordia. Step back jumper. Davis too strong. Concordia's got it. That's Goodman. Goodman, the step back three, comes up short. And the rebound is grabbed by Tyree. And Tyree with a quick motor gets down the floor, takes it all the way, but it's blocked. That was Nelson looking for Bollinger on the run out, but her shot is no good. Lures trying to hustle back down the floor. They do. This is Reese Roadhamel. Davis the pull-up three, and she hits another one. Annika Davis with her second three of the ball game, and we got a timeout called by Nicole Bollinger, and it's a 30-second timeout. Well, while we have a moment, we'll go ahead and get in a few words from our sponsors that allow us to do these games that we get to do so often on Summit City Sports. Big Eyed Fish has been around the Northeast Indiana area for generations. Like their Facebook page for updated promotions and enjoy the best fish in Fort Wayne in a family-friendly environment at Big Eyed Fish. Kelly Automotive Group is celebrating their 70th year in business. Shop all 14 of their locations and visit them at drivekelly.com. Also, contact Drive Kelly or Kelly Automotive Group at brands at drivekelly.com. Annika Davis with a pair of threes early on in this one, and that has Lures at an 8-5 to five lead. And i got to correct this scoreboard here. That last timeout was called by Concordia, not by Lures. So Nicole Bollinger has four timeouts remaining. Mark Pixley still has all five of his. Driving to the basket, but missing the shot is Richardson. Zaddy Shank back down the floor, gives it up to Davis. Davis has the hot hand early on and missed that jumper, but the putback is no good. That was Miley Waring trying to put it back, and the ball goes out of bounds. Concordia will take over. Addie Warner, the freshman, comes in off the bench for Lures. Three minutes to go. That's Goodman. Feeds it over to the corner. Kalen Ortiz, the junior, comes in off the bench for Concordia. Missed the jump shot, and a foul is called on the rebound. Waring got fouled, and it looks like Sella it's Kaiser. Nope, check that. Annika Nelson commits the foul. So Lures takes over down, or excuse me, up three. Ortiz going after the turnover. She continues to fight with it, but Lures gets the ball. Kendall Tyree wins that wrestling match. And here's Maggie Parent down the floor with a late feed. Step back jumper, that's a two. It won't go. Ball's on the deck. Lures has it. That's Shank. It's a jump ball. Possession arrow will give it to Lures. Annika Davis back in after a quick break. She's got six points already in the game. Quick feed, foul on the shot. And that will send Addie Shank to the free throw line. And this time it is on Sella Kaiser. 
I was about to mention earlier, we've got more basketball ahead for you tomorrow, including Carmel at Southside. That's, a, I believe, a 2.30 tip. Our cameraman for tonight, Carson Watkins, I believe, has the call for that one. I think he'll be joined by Lindley Kissler on camera. And Carson and I will team up for some more high school basketball. That'll be at Leo as the Lions take on Norwell. Addie Schenk able to add to the lead. She goes one for two from the stripe on that trip. Goodman gets around the screen. Dribbling through is Richardson. She kicks it out to Ortiz. Ortiz against the crowd, missed the shot. Lures defending the paint very well. They get down the floor as Shank is able to save the possession. Davis, the floater, that's an air ball. But right there for the board is Waring. Her putback won't fall. It's Nelson who has the board. It's back in November when Annika Nelson signed her letter of intent to go to Huntington and play college basketball for Darby Maggard, the new head coach, taking over for Lori Culler. Ortiz driving through, gets fouled. Addie Warner called for the foul, and Ortiz at the line to try and cut into this deficit. She's able to get the first one. Ortiz with her first points off the bench, and it's been a while since Concordia last had a bucket, but they get one on this possession. We're checking in on an update as soon as we get one from Snyder versus Northrop. One for two goes Ortiz. So far, each team with one trip to the line, and in both cases, it was a one for two trip. That's Davis from the corner. Her three won't fall. Grace Parent, though, with the offensive board for Lures. Tyree from downtown left it short. Fouls called on the Knights. Looks like it's going to be over the back. It's called on Warner. Well, we do have an update from Northrop. They lead Snyder 13 to 9. Those are two of the top teams in the SAC as far as overall record is concerned. Got an SAC matchup right here between Lures and Concordia. Richardson down to her feet. It's a jump ball. Possession arrow keeps it with Concordia. As Maggie Parent waits to check in for Lures. Parent does come in the game with a minute 20 left to go in the first quarter. Richardson off the inbound. Nelson has it knocked away. And Lures comes up with a takeaway. Here's Tyree. Throws it through traffic. That ball is out of bounds. They're going to say last touched by Lures. But Lures will put on some full court pressure. Maggie Parent to guard the inbound. A quick motor there by Bollinger. Bollinger to the basket. They're going to wave it off. Double dribble. I thought they were going to call traveling. Instead, they said Bollinger picked up her dribble. Inbound's going to come from the sideline. Got double header action here from the cage. After this girls game, it'll be boys basketball between Concordia and Lures. Addie Shank gets a screen. That's Grace Parent. Setting the screen, and Shank around Nelson. Back outside to Tyree. Her three won't fall, and it's out of bounds. Reese Roadhamel into the game for Lures. 38.7 to go as the cadets take over. They can hold for the final shot of the first quarter, with there being no shot clock in Indiana High School basketball. Reynolds trying to get it to Richardson, and Richardson couldn't save it. 
Closest one to where that ball went was Mark Pixley. Annika Davis will bring the ball across the timeline. She's picked up by Richardson, gets a screen from Shank. Spinning in is Richardson. They're going to wave off the basket. They called her for traveling. Both teams looking for a quick bucket. And we've got 13.4 left to go in the first quarter. Richardson finds Nelson. Nelson back outside to Bollinger. Her three won't fall, and it's Parent with the rebound. And Lures is not going to get a shot off before the first quarter ends. But they've got the lead, 9-6 to six on the road over Concordia. We'll be back for the second quarter in just a moment here on SummitCitySports.com. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Area sports looked a lot different back in 1952 when Jim Kelly opened his first dealership in Fort Wayne. 70 years later, that original dealership has grown into the Kelly Automotive Group with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall and Kelly Chevrolet on Lima Road. Fort Wayne continues to support our local teams and businesses. Thank you for 70 years. We could have never done it without you. Visit us today at drivekelly.com. Bishop Lures on top, 9-6 to six as we begin the second quarter here at the cage. Both teams had multiple possessions in the final minute of the first quarter. But came away with no points in that final minute. Now, Annika Davis had a good start to this game, a couple of early threes. She's got six points so far. Beg your pardon, she has, I believe, one three. This ball goes out of bounds. It's going to go back to Concordia. Check that. Davis actually does have two threes. She's got eight total points. And Concordia takes over. Field goal's at a premium, as you would guess, but Nelson has one of them. Make it two. She hits a corner three, and we're tied. Nelson, the Huntington University signee, with her second three of the ball game. Shank trying to chase it down, throws it away. Ortiz, three on three, slips it to Bollinger, and Bollinger scores in transition. Olivia Bollinger with her first bucket of the game. Gives Concordia the lead, first time since about midway through the first quarter. Over the top for the rebound goes Parent. That's Maggie Parent, and a foul is called. Looks like it's on Concordia. It is on Concordia. It's number 30, I don't have a number 30 on my roster. Six fifty one to go. Inbound goes to Shank, and she's fouled right on the inbound. Try to get it inside. Davis, or rather Nelson, swats it away. Turnaround shot by Shank, wouldn't fall over the top for the board, and the bucket is Parent. Maggie Parent ties it back up at 11. Nelson left wide open, and that's what can happen when you leave Annika Nelson wide open. She knocks down the three ball. 
Third of the game for Nelson. And a whistle blows on the other end. Looked like the call was jump ball, and it was. Well, Annika Nelson already with three threes in the game, and now I think Mark Pixley has called the timeout, and he has for Bishop Lures. Well, while they take the timeout, we'll go ahead and get another word from our sponsors that allow us to do these games that we always get to do. Tom Steel Tire has been servicing the Fort Wayne area for over 40 years. They will help you find the perfect tire for your vehicle and other auto repair services like brakes, wheel alignments, engine diagnostics, and more. At Ottenweller Contracting, we invest in our customers by providing peace of mind during the entire process from bid to build. Visit OttenwellerContracting.com to learn more. That's OttenwellerContracting.com. Summit Volleyball trains and builds the highest quality volleyball players in the area. From ages 5 to 18, our players are equipped with elite level skills and a foundation of life skills. Jump on board, together we can reach the summit. Well, Annika Nelson with a good game so far. N nine points, three threes in the game for Nelson. You know, she gets a good look. She's pretty good at knocking them down. She averages over 10 points per game. And like I said, she has already signed her letter of intent to play college basketball at Huntington University. Back down the floor come the cadets. Driving through is Lauren Goodman, the sophomore. Missed the shot. Shanks got the rebound. She gets ahead of the pack. Shanks slows it down and scores. Driving through as Goodman missed the shot. But I think we got a foul called in addition to the basket, or to the missed basket. The foul's on Parent, Maggie Parent to be specific. First free throw would not fall. That was Parent's first foul, by the way. 5.50 to go here in the second quarter. Both free throws no good, and that one didn't hit the backboard. Concordia has already beaten the win total they had a year ago when they only won four games overall. Well, shot fake there. That was Davis. Shank guarded by Nelson. Traveling is going to be the call, and Concordia will take over with 5.27 to play. Sella Kaiser will come back in the game for the Cadets. This is Richardson across the timeline. Gets a screen from Nelson. Goodman on the drive, tried to bank it in, but couldn't do so. And here comes Davis back down the floor. Wide open is Roadhamel, and Roadhamel hits a three. Check that, it's number 23, carry on Gilman. And that gives Lures the lead. 16 to 14, baseline drive, Richardson had it blocked. I think that was Davis. We're going to get a foul against the Cadets, I think. It's on Richardson. Kendall Tyree will check back in for Bishop Lures. She's the transfer out of Northside. Addie Shank only with three points so far. She is the leading scorer on the Knights, though. She's a junior. That ball is tipped. Shank threw it off of Ortiz before it went out of bounds, and Lures keeps it. Smart play there by Shank on the baseline.
Contested three. Davis goes down. Ortiz comes up with a board for Concordia. Kaiser goes for the reverse, but to no avail. Here come the Knights. Shank wide open. Beats the pack and scores. Addie Shank on a run to the rim. It'll give her five points for the game. Loose ball. And Lures almost came up with it, but a foul is called. Foul's called on Richardson. Four minutes to go in the second quarter. Lures with the four-point lead. Kirion Gilman hit a three earlier in the contest. She feeds it off to Tyree. Gilman was calling for it down low. Stands at five foot five. Parent over the top, missed the shot. Got it over Ortiz. But here come the cadets. Richardson through traffic. Oh, and she puts it in. Michaela Richardson in transition. Back down the floor comes Davis, but we're going to get an offensive foul. We're going to call that one on Maggie Parent. And in the game comes Lauren Goodman. Eddie Shank into the game for Lures. Goodman gives it up to Nelson. Nelson into the paint. Contacted and a foul. Annika Nelson and a chance to give Concordia the lead. They're going to call that one on Waring. Miley Waring, the freshman, commits her first foul of the game. And Nelson could not complete the three-point play. Waring has the board. Had to dribble through some traffic there. Tyree across the timeline. Into the paint. Too strong. And Nelson has the board. Same player who got the bucket moments ago. Was that touched on the way out? No, it was not. Davis wisely lets it go. Cadets will send in a sub. That's number 13, Sidney Reynolds. Concordia and Lures both in different classes, even though they both are in the Summit Athletic Conference. Concordia is in Class 3A. Lures is in 2A. Back outside to Davis. Two and a half minutes to play. They fire it inside to Waring. Traveling is the call. Addie Schenk was the one who walked. We got a good one so far here at the cage. A doubleheader basketball coming your way this evening. Concordia and Lures boys. That might have been a double dribble. I'm not sure. Ortiz missed the shot. Nelson able to put it home. Nelson has the last four points for Concordia. 13 points in the game. She's averaging double figures on the season. Waring, the feed inside for Shank, blocked. And that was Nelson who swatted it. Thrown off the foot of Davis, that's a kickball. I think that was Ortiz who threw it off her foot. Kind of a smart play. Although I'm not sure if that was actually what she was intending to do. Reese Roadhamel into the game for Lures. This is a Lures team that has been very successful in their history. Gary Andrews, who's now the boys' head coach at Northside, won a couple of state championships at Lures with the girls' team. Terry Rosinski, I believe, also won one, and so did Denny Rainier. Actually, I think Rosinski won a couple of state championships. As Sella Kaiser gets fouled on her way to the basket. 
Concordia with a chance to extend their lead. Six and a half to go here in this second quarter. Excuse me, one and one and a half minutes to go in this second quarter. Time is 6.30. Caught the corner of my computer, and that's what caused me to say six and a half. Yeah, the time is 6.30. This game got underway at 6 o'clock. You know, a little feature they have here at Concordia that they didn't used to. They used to have the flag over in the uh, on the wall. right next to the actual cage itself. And if you were seated in uh, either the visitor section or the student section, you'd have to turn your eyes to look at it. But now they've got a flag that comes down from the ceiling, a banner-type flag that comes down from the ceiling. Loose ball taken over by Lures. Driving through was Peyton Pickard, and she missed the shot. Kaiser down the baseline, feeds it to Goodman. Contested three, doesn't matter. Lauren Goodman hits it. And the freshman's got her first points of the game. And check that, she's actually a sophomore. Jennifer Dressler, well, we got the answer as to who number 30 is. Jennifer Dressler coming into the game. Ref blew the whistle after the inbound. I'm not quite sure why. It's still going to be Lure's ball. Nope, it's going to be Concordia ball. Say she stepped out on the inbound, or stepped in on the inbound, I believe. That's Nelson on the baseline. She finds Dressler, and Dressler missed it. Second try wouldn't fall. 45 seconds to play here in the first half. Picker down the baseline. Foul is called, and Nicole Bollinger and her daughter Olivia were both looking for a foul called on Lures. They didn't get it. They call it on Dressler. That's her third foul. We'll send Pickard to the line. Pickard comes up short. Free throw's good. One for two on that trip. Not a lot of free throws in this one. But Pickard able to get one and make this a five-point game. Concordia could hold for the final shot of the half. There is no shot clock in Indiana High School basketball, but an offensive foul. That's on Walker. Monica Davis to put it in. And now Lures with a chance to hold for the final shot. If they score, they would make this a one possession game and they almost did. That shot's an air ball. Pickard went for the putback, but it's Concordia who takes over. We're down to 10 seconds in the half. Goodman uses the screen from Nelson. Nelson calling for it, down to two seconds. Corner three, Ortiz, that one won't fall. It's Concordia who leads 24-19 at halftime. Kind of a back and forth, low scoring game so far, but right now Concordia is on top. And while we have a moment, we'll get in a few more words from our sponsors that allow us to do these games that we get to do. Anderson Heating and Air Conditioning is dedicated to providing the best possible solution for your home or business. A system and solution that fits your unique needs, visit andersoncoolheat.com. Are you ready to do what it takes to put your past behind you, whether it's expunging your criminal record or helping you to get your driver's license reinstated? Jolly Law Firm is your answer. Sioka Cleaning and Restoration provides top-notch commercial cleaning services, including janitorial, water damage, and state-of-the-art disinfecting services throughout Northeast Indiana. Oh. 
online degree programs at the University of St. Francis are built for convenience and flexibility. Most degrees can be completed in 12 months. For more information, visit online.sf.edu. At Parkview Sports Medicine, it's game on. We serve every level of athlete with our integrated sports medicine team, including our, the region's only specialized athletic rehab facility. Learn more about our services by logging on to parkviewsportsmedicine.com. And today's broadcast is brought to you by SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260Sports, like our Facebook page, Summit City Sports, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Concordia who has the lead over Lures in this SAC matchup here at the cage. We'll be back for the start of the second half in a moment. You're watching high school basketball on SummitCitySports.com. Welcome to the Summit City. Home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rat's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November in addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. I was once a Southside kid who was led on a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. I just want to be the best in basketball, so I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels, we did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, 
it's it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size being six three six four to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strength. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed from business, nursing and science to the arts, all with a 99% career success rate. You belong here. 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 I belong here. has always been here um, you know and they're getting better um, you know I'm watching you know uh, Summit City Sports man they're doing an awesome job and I mean that's a plug them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job and I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting and I'm seeing the talent and it is just truly outstanding and I mean you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne Indiana the talent that's coming up now and the talent that you know is it's is, is, is just here man it's just is really it's really cool in four years, this, this could be you. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed, from business, nursing and science, to the arts. You belong here! Our football team haven't won a sectional title in 32 years. There's no team better than us, and we just do our job. You know, nobody really want to lose no more. All you want is greatness. You want me one, two, three? This is a game that's been on my calendar all year. We don't need fan discipline. We a whole different north side team. Area sports looked a lot different back in 1952 when Jim Kelly opened his first dealership in Fort Wayne. 70 years later, that original dealership has grown into the Kelly Automotive Group with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall and Kelly Chevrolet on Lima Road. Fort Wayne continues to support our local teams and businesses. Thank you for 70 years. We could have never done it without you. Visit us today at drivekelly.com. We're back here at the cage. It's Concordia leading at halftime, 24-19. We got the first half statistics to give you. Leading scorer for Lures is Annika Davis with eight points. Addie Shank has five. Carry on Gilman has three. Maggie Parent with two. And Peyton Pickard with one. For Concordia, their leading scorer is none other than Annika Nelson. She's got 13 points in the game. Sella Kaiser has three. Lauren Goodman has three. Michaela Richardson and Olivia Bollinger have two apiece. Also scoring one so far for this game for Concordia is Kalen Ortiz. Those are the first half statistics. As we just saw Phil Brockman there over by the scorer's table. He's the head coach for the boys team here at Concordia. They'll be taking the court when this game is all done. Second half coming your way in just about 30 seconds. And before we get there, we'll get one more word in from the folks at Parkview Sports Medicine. At Parkview Sports Medicine, it is game on. We are the region's largest integrated sports medicine team, providing athletes specialized services from improving their performance to recovering from injuries. To learn more, go to parkviewsportsmedicine.com. It will be Bishop Lures basketball as we get ready to start the second half here at the cage. Bishop Lures basketball to start the third quarter. Lures at 4-9, and nine, Concordia at 5-12. and 12. Both teams trying to get a little closer to 500. But it's Lures starting with the basketball in the second half. Annika Davis had eight points in that first half. Starts with the basketball here. Gives it up to Tyree. Tyree 
with the offhand able to put it home. Kendall Tyree. They feed it to the corner. Foul is called. The spin move by Kaiser will not matter, and neither will the basket. Foul was before any kind of shot was taken. They call that one on Reese Roadhamel. And with 7.20 to go, it is Concordia ball up by one score. Catch and shoot for Davis, or Nelson rather. Confused one Annika with the other. That's a jump ball. Concordia keeps the possession. Quick inbound. I believe that's Bollinger, and she hits the jumper from the corner. It's a three, and it is Bollinger. And that's Bollinger's first three of the game. Olivia, the freshman and the daughter of head coach Nicole Bollinger, able to get that one to fall as Shank goes back outside to Tyree. Tyree into the paint. Pull-up jumper. That is Tyree out of bounds. I think they're saying Maggie Parent stepped out trying to recover the ball. Lauren Goodman will bring the ball across the timeline for Concordia. Bowling her off the fake. Wants the floater, takes the shot. They're going to say last touch by Concordia. A minute and a half to go in this third, a minute and a half gone by, rather, in this third quarter. Here's Tyree coming across the timeline. Tyree guarded by Bollinger, and a little help side there from Richardson. She gets the steal, and Richardson in transition, she scores. Michaela Richardson, and that ball's knocked away by Nelson. Roadhamel has it blocked. That might have been Kaiser who blocked the shot. Goodman waiting out of bounds. Concordia keeps it. Goodman almost waited too long. Long inbound for Nelson. She makes the catch but couldn't finish. And Shank has the board. Shank across the timeline, slows it down. Tyree using the baseline, scores. Kendall Tyree able to cut into the deficit for Lures. Bollinger for three, hits another one. A Bollinger has got two threes, both of them coming here in this third quarter. Spinning in is Davis since she's fouled. Two shots coming up for Annika Davis. They call that foul on Lauren Goodman. Nine-point lead for Concordia. Davis unable to connect on the free throw. Not been a lot of free throws taken in this game. Grace Parent comes in. Both Grace... And Maggie Parent are related to former Lures standout, Anna Parent. I believe Anna was the leading scorer last year for Lures. As Davis able to get to nine points. I believe it's been since the first quarter since she last scored. Nelson with the feed to Bollinger. She fakes the three, now takes it, but couldn't knock it down. Richardson the board, though. And an extra possession for the Cadets. Nelson hits the floater. Annika Nelson having a standout game so far. 15 points for Annika. The Huntington University commit. Davis lost it. Shank with the putback. She scores. Addie Shank. Leading score for Lures coming into this one as Kaiser had it blocked. Bollinger went for the circus shot. 
And back down the floor come the Knights. They almost turn it over, and then they almost get two points. Instead, it's Richardson who initially came away with the board. That's going to be a jump ball, though. Concordia just one and four in conference play so far this year. Lures one and three. Both teams trying to get their second conference win of the season, and we got a timeout called by Lures. It's their second timeout used in this game. We'll take one right along with them on SummitCitySports.com. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rat's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November in addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in... All right, I believe we are back. Welcome back, folks. So sorry about that. Had some technical difficulties little issue with the stream, but I believe we are now reconnected as Concordia leads this game. We'll need to change our scoreboard here, 36 to 26, with two and a half to go in the third quarter. We do hope that uh, we'll continue to remain live with you here on SummitCitySports.com. This ball goes out of bounds, and Concordia is going to take over. Again, we do apologize for that. Try to have these broadcasts go as smoothly as possible whenever we do them, but sometimes do run into some issues and try to correct them when we do. That's Richardson who gets the ball back, drives through the paint, and missed it with the left hand. Offensive board, though, and Kaiser able to put it in. Sella Kaiser. For Kaiser, looks like she's got seven points in the game. So she's got the last four points. And we're going to get a substitution, perhaps another timeout. Nope. Lures just sending in some subs. And we do hope that we'll be able to stay with you the rest of the way. And also we hope that we'll be able to stay with you all the way through our boys game, which is coming up. We've got a full timeout on the floor. We'll stay with you for this one. Again, we do apologize for the uh, technical difficulties we had there. Not to beat a dead horse, but uh, we're away from the broadcast for just a little bit. But we are we are back live for those of you watching us on SummitCitySports.com and watching us on YouTube. Minute 47 left to go here. Concordia versus Bishop Lures. Concordia trying to get to their get their second conference win of the season. Lures trying to do the same. And it was a back and forth game in the first half, but Concordia has really taken charge, it seems, here in the second half. A lead that was five at the start of the second half is now 12 for Concordia. A couple of transition opportunities, a couple of offensive putbacks. And really some of the big stories in this game I'll just tell you one of them, Annika Nelson. She scored 15 points in the game. So far, just two here in the second half, but a big game for Nelson. She even blocked a shot back in the first quarter. And by the way, Nelson has committed to Huntington University.
Olivia Bollinger with eight points so far. She's hit two threes in the second half. Lauren Goodman with the ball. Racing across the timeline. She's trying to use that screen. Here's Bollinger. Gives it back to Richardson. Richardson off the fake. Back outside to Kaiser. Kaiser is fouled on the shot, and she will go to the line. A minute 29 left to play in this third quarter as Concordia tries to build on this 12-point lead, and they will. Kaiser has five straight points, eight total. She had just three in all in the first half. It's the Annika Nelson show in the first half, and her teammates starting to get involved, including Bollinger with the offensive board there, and there's Kaiser with the putback. Parent, the dish, trying to get inside, is wearing. Uh, check that, that's Roadhamel, Reese Roadhamel, and we're going to get a foul against the cadets with a minute 13 to go. They call it on Kaiser. Shank makes a move, goes up with the left and scores. Addy Shank. And we get a quick whistle here. Addie Schenk with nine points. It's a foul against number 11, Maggie Parent, for Lures. And Addie Warner will come in for the Knights. We're inside the final minute of the third quarter. Kaiser with the recovery. And her floater doesn't fall. Somehow that stayed in, but Warner collects for Lures. Shank down the floor, has it knocked away, but out of bounds. The Lures crowd wants a foul. Looked like they've got an argument, but none was called. Moments ago, Concordia had its largest lead of the game at 15 points. Shank, the turnaround, got it. Addie Shank, give her 11 points for the game. She's averaging over 10 on the season as Roadhamel commits the foul in transition. Bollinger to put it in, she finds Richardson. Down to 30 seconds on the clock. Richardson called for a carry. And now Lures can hold for the final shot. And if they score here, unless it's just a single free throw, they'll get it back to single digits. There's Davis across the timeline. Off the hands of Shank, or is it? They're saying out off of Concordia. Went up to the stage where the band is situated. Lures has a similar setup at their gym. The, uh, they got a stage out behind the basketball court. And so does Bishop Dwenger. A foul before the inbound. Addie Shank called for that foul, and it's going back to Concordia. A 1-2-2 press by Lures. Concordia trying to beat it, and they do with Richardson. Nelson from the baseline drains a jumper. Annika Nelson. Desperation three, and that's an air ball to end the third quarter. Concordia up 43-30 over Lures, and we'll be right back for the fourth quarter after this on SummitCitySports.com.
Columbia sports looked a lot different back in 1952 when Jim Kelly opened his first dealership in Fort Wayne. 70 years later, that original dealership has grown into the Kelly Automotive Group with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall and Kelly Chevrolet on Lima Road. Fort Wayne continues to support our local teams and businesses. Thank you for 70 years. We could have never done it without you. Visit us today at drivekelly.com. Ready to start the fourth quarter as Concordia leads Lures 43 to 30. Foul called down low. It looks like it's on the Knights. It is. It's on Parent, Maggie Parent. And Lauren Goodman will go to the line. Goodman able to connect on that first one. Stretches Concordia's lead back out. Monica Nelson had the jumper that closed out the third quarter just moments ago. She's now got 17 points for the game. Meanwhile, Lauren Goodman averaging 7.9 this season as a sophomore. But she only gets one free throw there. Lauren Goodman's up to four points so far. Shank away from the basket, gets into the paint. The floater short, and that's Kaiser who's got the board. And welcome back. Again, my apologies, had a, another technical issue, but we are back and we hope to be back the rest of the game as there's a miss down low from Concordia. We'll adjust our scoreboard here, 47 to 30. A 17 point lead for the Cadets, their largest of the game. Five fifty one to play. It's going to be Lures basketball. Both these teams trying to get their second conference win of the season. That's Reese Roadham ready to put the ball in play for Lures. She gets it in, but it's taken away by Bollinger. Goodman one-on-one -on -one across the timeline, and she is fouled, I do believe. It looks like she was. We'll get the call here. Call the foul on Reese Roadhamel. That'll send Goodman to the line. Seventh team foul against the Knights. Check that'll send Jennifer Dressler to the free throw line. Now, Kaylin Bollinger... The older daughter of Nicole Bollinger is out with an injury. And that might be one reason why we're seeing a little more activity from off the bench for Concordia. As Dressler is able to build their lead up to 19. It's a five-point game, game at halftime, and now Concordia... but we got it back now, and we certainly hope that we'll be able to stay with you the rest of this game. There's 4.46 left in this game, and it's Concordia who's got a lead of, and again, we do have to readjust our scoreboard after all that just took place. The score currently is 51 to 34 in Concordia's favor. They have led by as many as 19 points in this game. 
as it looks like Concordia. Excuse me, we, we still got 446 left to play in this game. So no guarantee that uh, Concordia is going to get their second conference win of the season yet. Bishop Lewer is still going for theirs. We could see a huge comeback toward the end of this one. I believe it was in 2017. In fact, it was in 2017 when Florida had a 17-point lead against Duke. Now that was with seven and a half minutes to play, but Duke rallied to win the game. That was at the PK-80, as they called it. A tournament honoring Phil Knight, the founder of Nike, at the PK-85 this year. Sidney Reynolds across the timeline. Reynolds wasn't ready for the pass, and there's a foul on the catch made by number 21, Brooklyn Gray, as she went for the steal. She got fouled by Richardson. Maggie Parent will come into the game for Lures. Long inbound, that's Tyree. Tyree, the north side transfer coming over to Lures, her first year at Lures. She's a junior, she's got one more year of high school left. Tyree on the drive, one on three, offensive foul. Remember, we've got boys basketball coming up next. Bishop Lewis versus Concordia taking place right here at the cage. Bowling her across the timeline. Long lob. Concordia recovers. That's Kaiser outside to Richardson. Bollinger with a shot fake. She's hit a couple threes in this game. She's actually up to 10 points total. Picked up there by Maggie Parent. Parent comes across the timeline. Almost threw it away. She did throw it away. She was trying to find Brooklyn Gray. Instead, the ball goes long to the sideline. Concordia takes over. Wide open is Bollinger. She'll try the three and knock it down. Olivia Bollinger with 13 points in the game. That's her third three. Knocked away from behind. That was Richardson, and Richardson got fouled trying to go in transition. Bollinger was uh, surprised by that ball that came right at her after the play was over. With three and a half minutes to go, it's going to be Richardson going to the free throw line. Ortiz coming in off the bench for Concordia. This will be one and one coming up. Got an update. Northrop now with a double-digit lead over Snyder. 58-43. It was not long ago with seven minutes left. I'm not sure how much time is left in that one now. I do know how much time is left here. It's 323 on the clock. Concordia is going to keep possession of the basketball. Richardson looking to put it in. She finds Kaiser on the inbound, and Kaiser scores. 22-point lead for Concordia, and Kaiser making a big impact off the bench. That gives her 12 points for the game. Blocked shot, but a foul. And that's going to be on Bollinger. Brooklyn Gray going to the line for Lures. I believe this is her first trip to the line. She's not able to cash in the first try. Second one's good. Quick down the floor, it's Richardson. 
Kaiser has a shot blocked out of bounds to Lures. Out of bounds, Nelson tried to save it, but to no avail. Substitution for the number 22, Nigel Walker, and number 20, Lauren Goodman. Nigel Walker and Lauren Goodman come into the game. 30, 56 to 35 in favor of Concordia. That's Keegan Gatchel into the game for Lures. Long lob, they get it in to Gray. Gray around the screen. Has it poked away by Ortiz. Pickard able to recover. Pickard, contact, offensive foul. That's going to be Pickard's first foul of the game. Inbound goes to Lauren Goodman. Goodman with the crossover there. She does get it across the timeline. Drives inside, and she's cut off. Bollinger, baseline jumper, too strong. Gray turns it over, right into the hands of Ortiz. Ortiz slows down. The floater, it's blocked. And here comes Lures and a foul. Lauren Goodman called for the foul for Concordia. We've got 2.04 to go. For the Knights, number 23, Carrie Ann Gilman to the free throw line. This is Carrie Ann Gilman at the line. She's a freshman, 5'5 five five guard. Couldn't get it to fall. Bowling or the rebound for Concordia. Crossover dribble. Con Bowling her into the paint, and she's fouled. This is foul, number 23, Gilman. It's going to be on Carrie Ann Gilman. Olivia Bollinger, who's having a good night so far. 13 points, three threes in the game. She's at the line and could not connect on the first one. Free throw shooting has not been great tonight on either side. They've packed the student section over there for Concordia as Bollinger is able to get one at the stripe. Concordia looking for their second conference win of the season. So is Lures. Lures came in at one and three in the SAC. Concordia at one and four. Lures will be back at it tomorrow night as they host Northside. Not usual you get an SAC battle on a Saturday, but that's what we're going to get. SAC teams do play on a Saturday, but it's usually not a conference game. We do know that Southside will take on Carmel tomorrow. That'll be at Don Riker Gymnasium. And my cameraman for this game, Carson Watkins, he's scheduled to call that one. At least I think that's the case. I know I'll have some Northeast State Conference basketball tomorrow. That'll be boys basketball between Leo and Norwell. As soon as this game is over, we'll have boys basketball between Lures and Concordia. Free throw's good. Miley Waring gets one out of two. And Concordia takes over up by 21 with less than 90 seconds to play. Ortiz, the step back three, short. Put back wouldn't fall. Waring called for the foul there. And Nigel Walker to the free throw line. Walker couldn't connect that time. Got a minute 21 to go in regulation. Defense, 
Second one's too strong, and Lures has the board. Loose ball, Concordia going for it. It's going to be a jump ball. Goodman off the inbound. She's able to find Reynolds. Reynolds off the fake, gets inside, goes up with a left hand, too strong. And we're inside the final minute here at the cage. Transition bucket for Lures. And it is Brooklyn, nope, check that. It's Keegan Gatchel. Ortiz brings it outside. And we're down to 35 seconds to go. Loose ball, out of bounds. And Lures will take over. This is actually one of uh, three contests this week, or at least three contests between Lures and Concordia. We've got the girls taking the court here. Got the boys coming up next in basketball. Last night, Lures and Concordia played each other in wrestling. I do believe it was Concordia who won that one in the end. Down to 14 seconds. A little floater. It's good and a foul. With 12.2 to go. That is Brooklyn Gray who gets the bucket. Dressler called for the foul. 12.2 left to play. As Gray will try to complete a three-point play. Missed it. Gets her own rebound. Gray puts it back. And lures a little four-point possession to close out the game. But it's going to be Concordia. Who wins this one? They don't even need to bring the ball across the timeline. Concordia a winner. Here over Bishop Lures at the cage. And that will do it for the first game of our doubleheader. Remember, we've got more basketball left to go. Before we sign off, though, we've got a few things to take care of. Final stats for Lures. Addie Shank was their leading scorer with 11 points. Annika Davis finishes with 9. Brooklyn Gray with 5. Carrie Ann Gilman with 3. And Keegan Gatchel with two, Megan Parent with two. Now, I will remind you, these are unofficial, especially since we had those uh, stoppages in our broadcast earlier. Concordia's leading scorer was Annika Nelson. She scores 17 points. Olivia Bollinger with 14. Sella Kaiser with 12. Lauren Goodman with four. Michaela Richardson with four. And also Kaylin Ortiz with one. Well, we're going to split the Parkview Sports Medicine player of the game. Three players will be honored, and those players are Annika Nelson, Olivia Bollinger and Sella Kaiser. Nelson with 17 points, Bollinger with 14, and Kaiser with 12. Kaiser with some second chance buckets as well. Nelson had a blocked shot in the first half, and Bollinger with three threes. Nelson also with three threes. So Bollinger, Nelson, and Kaiser are your Parkview Sports Medicine players of the game. And that will do it from right here at the cage. Concordia wins 57 to 42. Be sure to tune in in about a half an hour when we begin the matchup between Lures and Concordia boys basketball. Until then, for my cameraman Carson Watkins, this is Thad Goff saying so long from the cage. We'll be back in about 20 minutes on SummitCitySports.com. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. 
To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. Area sports looked a lot different back in 1952 when Jim Kelly opened his first dealership in Fort Wayne. 70 years later, that original dealership has grown into the Kelly Automotive Group with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall and Kelly Chevrolet on Lima Road. Fort Wayne continues to support our local teams and businesses. Thank you for 70 years. We could have never done it without you. Visit us today at drivekelly.com.